in this lesson we're going to be placing our images and the text that goes along with those. Okay, so to place our images, we're going to need to go ahead and grab those out of our project files. So you can either open up your project file window and drag them in, or we can place. I'm going to do um, the option of placing. So we're going to come up here to File, go to Place, and you want to make sure that you're on the layer that you'll be um, placing them onto and not a locked layer or you're going to have issues. So right now this is just the Illustrator files where we've been saving um, our project all along. So I'm going to go up and we'll go into our reference files and we'll go into images. And it's going to be these that have the numbers here. So I'm going to place all three of those. So um, we'll just kind of start with this one here at the top. And I want to link those. So that just means that I'm not going to be embedding them. So that'll keep my file size down. Go ahead and hit place for that. And obviously this is a little bit too large, but um, we'll be scaling them down. So before I do that, I'm just going to go ahead and place my other two while I have um, that step kind of fresh, what we're doing at that point. Sometimes I just like doing things kind of in a assembly line order. I think it makes it go a little bit faster rather than, you know, placing one image and then obsessing over it. Okay, so then we've got this image. This looks like it's a slightly different size from our other one, but that's okay. It's still going to work for what we need. Then we'll go ahead and place our next one. And we're just waiting for that to come up. And that's going to be the boat. So go ahead and place that. And this looks like it's about the same size as our other one. So um, we've got a little bit of some finessing to do. So I'm going to be placing these um, kind of as they go along with these titles. So advances to modern medicine is kind of just what we're looking at here. So I'm going to go ahead and place this in the column and scale it up just ever so slightly so it fits in that column and it's not being scaled up so much that that's going to make a huge difference so don't worry too much about that and the next one is fishing as a way of life so that's actually going to be the boat that we have here so we can scale that down I'm just holding shift to scale it proportionately and then we can scale this one down here on the end for the protection of coastal regions and let's just make sure that those are scaled right onto those graph or right onto those uh, guidelines there just holding shift to make sure that that stays perfectly symmetrical. And I'm just going to arrow that over one to the right and that looks like that will fix this one. Maybe make it just a tiny bit smaller just like that. Okay, so now I want to use my align panel to make sure that those are all in a straight line. So did a pretty good job of doing it by hand, but I think we can make it a little bit better. So I'll select all of those and we'll just hit that vertical align top. And that's going to bring those two lower ones up. And it looks like they're already, you know, pretty close to the same um, size. If you wanted to, I mean, it's only going to be a very small amount of pixels. We could stretch this one down just so that it aligns with the other one. Um, not going to be a noticeable difference. Now, if it had text in it, you would want to be careful. But just this picture, I think we're okay with just stretching it. If you wanted to go in and not stretch the pictures at all, you could crop them in Photoshop to make sure they're all exactly the same size. Or you could just use a clipping mask um, to clip them to a perfect size, kind of like what we did in our very first um, lesson with photos. So now that we have these photos set up, I want to go ahead and give us some text that is going to kind of describe um, how coral is involved in these different areas. So to get that text, let's just go over here, grab our Word document again, and that's going to be further up to the top where you see coral offers benefits to humans. So we've got advances in modern medicine is already there. Then we've got our image. And then we have kind of this little call out piece of text that's been italicized. And then we have a piece of just kind of body copy. So let's start out by setting up the um, kind of fact here, the 20,000 um, new biochemical substances for marine life. So go ahead and highlight that. We'll hit control C. And then let's just go ahead and paste this into a box. Control V. And I want this to be 
my same Garamond that I've been using, but I think it would be nice if it was in all caps. So I don't want the text itself or the numbers to be all caps because I like that sometimes you kind of get that old style number. So I'm gonna make sure that all caps is off for that. But then um, for this part here, we'll go ahead and turn that to all caps. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop that down onto the next line and let's make it a little bit smaller. So right now it's at 10, maybe just turn that down a bit. And let's go ahead and track this out as well. So that we have that 400 that we've been using all along right there. Now that actually might be a little bit too big just because substances is being broken onto two lines. So maybe take that back down so substances has room for the E and the S. Just right in there. So it looks like that's at 373. So let's just take it down to 370. And we'll use that for our other pieces. Now 20,000 I want to make a little bit bigger. So um, we'll leave that at 10 and then let's take this one up to 20. So just it's it'll be you know very visible and maybe even italicize that just to kind of give it a little more emphasis. So just like that. I'm really happy with the way that looks. So now we'll go ahead and highlight this whole thing and let's make that kind of that light blue that we've been using, so that teal color. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and do this for my other pieces. So I'll go ahead and grab this. We'll alt drag that over to duplicate those. And then come over here and let's grab the $375 billion made from the fishing industry. We'll copy that and then paste this just right over that. And then I'm gonna grab that part and we'll paste this right in here, just on that next line. And then let's just highlight this and grab our eyedropper tool to make it the same as our other piece. And now this looks like maybe it's given us a little bit of trouble for how much that has been tracked out. So. Let's go ahead and maybe take it in just a little bit more so that's not being pushed on to the next line. And that looks like that's at 250. So let's take that one down to 250 as well, just for the sake of consistency among these like things. Okay, um, now let's go ahead and do this for our last piece. So that's gonna be the $10 million per kilometer to build a retaining wall. We'll copy that. paste it and then I'll just grab this little part right here we'll cut that paste it and then eyedropper tool it <laughs> just so that we get all that and again we're having a little bit of an issue with that tracking being so large so again let's just take this down until we get this to fit and you know what I think this actually might work better because we don't want to have this one word by itself here at the bottom that starts to look a little bit strange. So this one could actually be dragged out a bit more. It looks like that column is just a little bit wider. So this is 74. So let's go ahead and do this for our other two pieces. We'll turn this down to 74 just so that we have it matching. And we'll do the same thing over here as well. And I'm just gonna highlight that. And let's just type in a 74 to be faster. Okay, so that looks like that matches a lot better now. And those are really nice and easy to read. And now we have some other pieces of text we need to add in here that are kind of just the subtext below that. So you see, we kind of have this for this one, um, something about coral reefs and the fishing industry here, and then this one. So I'm just gonna start at the top again. We'll copy this, hit Control C. And then we'll just grab our text tool and we'll draw another box underneath here. Hit Control V to paste. And this I think is gonna look great if we just had this sort of set up like we've been doing for the rest of our body copy. So I'll go ahead and just copy um, or just highlight all of this. And let's come up here to this bit of copy 
and we'll just eye drop that. So that's just going to fit really nicely right underneath this part. And I'll just kind of move that up a bit. And let's go ahead and just copy these over here. So I'm just alt dragging to kind of duplicate those. We'll do the same thing here. And then we'll just copy right over what is typed there and just go down the list. So we'll copy that for the 375 billion and paste that in. You can see, you know, this just goes so much faster whenever you're doing it and you're able to just cut and paste like this from your document. So just come down here, grab that last piece of text, copy that, and then we'll place this into our last box. And that's looking pretty good. So all of this text I copied and, um, you know, when I was alt dragging that, there's a little bit more room here simply because this does not need to be broken onto two separate lines. Um, but I think that this still looks okay. So maybe go ahead and select all of these and we can go ahead and make that our navy blue text. Just make sure that that's been set to that. Um, and it looks like we already had that selected. So that is looking pretty good. So we placed the accompanying text next to our images and got those kind of in their place. And you know, when you're selecting images like this, it's important to select images that make sense. So we have kind of a picture of coastal regions here. Um, we've got our boat picture, you know, that makes sense with the fishing. And then we have something, you know, somebody kind of investigating something scientific over here. Now that one's probably one of the looser ones because it doesn't really have any coral but it is the idea that you know something chemical is going on here with um, kind of this uh, chemistry sequence you see over here in the background so you know that it's important that you get the best images that you can that go along with what you're talking about whenever you're making those and you're not just saying I want to use a picture and you choose something kind of arbitrarily one other thing that I want to add here is that photo that I've been talking about placing in this um, all along, kind of down here at the bottom. So it's going to be, you know, kind of understated, but I just want it to be something that kind of caps this off. So I'm going to come up here to place that image as well. And it's going to be in that images folder that we had open earlier. And it's just going to be that red coral image that you see right there. So go ahead and place that. And it's going to be pretty large, but we have this really interesting piece of red coral. Um, one of our instructors was on a trip and he took this picture. So he's going to let us use this. And that's just going to be right inside of your project file. So I'm going to go ahead and position this in a way that it fits kind of underneath this line here um, and the bleed that we see. And then let's just go ahead and create a clipping mask for that. So I want to make sure that that is still over the bleed line on the other side. And then we'll just kind of start here where the clipping mask meets that edge and we'll draw that shape. Then we'll select both of those, right click and say make clipping mask. Now this is a little bit too close um, to the edge here so we could bring that down a little bit just like that so we have just a very small border here at the bottom and if you want this to bump up there to kind of where the bleed is starting you can change the clipping mask itself so you can just come over here to your layers panel we'll bring that down and you can see that's right there at the top just toggle that down and then you just want to select only that box so just target the box that's being used as the clipping mask and then we'll drag that up to the bleed and there you have it if you just click off there you can see that now that whole box is just the size of the box that we edited that um, clipping mask to fit um, another thing you can do, I'm not choosing to do this here, but if you want to have something that really is sticking to a very strict color palette, but you still want to use photographs, changing them to black and white or um, maybe using something in Photoshop to give them, uh, still has that two color feel um, where, you know, you've got colors 
still designated as what would represent black and what would re represent your light and then those are mixing together to create the grays so there's a lot of different approaches you can take I'm just choosing to place those colorful images here because we are talking about coral it is very colorful and for the most part so far we've stuck to our um, swatches really well just for all of these things maybe come in here and change this one to that yellow color instead of black uh, just so that that feels a little bit less um, obtrusive right there so you know just kind of going through changing little things here and there uh, in our next lesson we're going to be talking about planning our illustrations that we'll be using throughout the rest of our design so we've got a lot of things we need to have happening kind of in some of uh, these areas here so we need to plan out what we need to make just so that you're not making way too many different things um, and getting carried away with over illustrating because it gets really easy to start decorating with stuff like that especially when you're making you know lots of pieces of coral and all that so we're going to talk about how to plan that out and then how to get started designing those in our next lesson